What's up, YouTube? Charmin Xsoft here, coming at you guys with a brand new Star Wars Battlefront video. And today, we're talking about the SE-14C Blaster Pistol. So, right here, this weapon will actually be unlocked at rank 14, and it will cost you 2,500 credits to purchase it. But before I go on and give you my personal opinions about this weapon, I want to go ahead and just kind of tell you guys some stuff that they actually the guide will tell you about this weapon. And the guide will actually tell you that this weapon is best for advanced players, and it says that the fire rate is really fast, but the damage is quite low. It says it fires in five round burst and the burst fire helps keep it from overheating and the SE-14C is highly effective if every shot hits. If every shot hits without giving an enemy a chance to recover health, you should take them down rather quickly. That's basically all that they kind of say in a nutshell. There's a little more information, but that's basically your key points on it right there. So again, what they're saying is this weapon is really good. I again, they, they kind of state advanced players. What they mean is people who can kind of handle burst fire weapons. This, this weapon will fire in a five round burst. Keep that in mind. And if you have watched my EE3 video, you will know that this weapon here, the velocity for the bolts is actually a little bit less than the EE3 is. So since the EE3 is firing three shots at a higher velocity, like they said with the EE3, you're pretty much guaranteed to hit if the first shot hits. Whereas with this weapon, you may have to lead them just a little bit because you're not guaranteed to land every single five you know shots that come out every single time you pull the trigger so that might be a little bit of an issue but all in all with playing with the weapon i think it handles very well i mean recoils not much at all uh, i can use this weapon in first person third person i can use this weapon at hip fire i can use this weapon you know zoomed in it doesn't matter this is actually a pretty good all-around good weapon now game modes that you probably want to be using this weapon on because it is a shorter range type weapon is cargo drop zone droid run or blast so shorter maps is going to make this weapon more useful to you and i don't really like to go into star cards too much with the weapons when it comes to the reviews and breakdowns because you know i'm trying to talk about the weapon bare and base and let you know if the weapon is good overall but i will tell you this one if you do put the explosive shot star card on this weapon this thing is seriously deadly with that explosive shot because you're pumping out five rounds i mean lickety split and they're all explosively charged <laughs> It's really, really, really good. So, guys, you might want to give this weapon a try if you're going on the smaller maps and whatnot because it is quite an animal. Now, someone had asked me the question before, the SE-14C versus the DL-44. That is a tough question to answer because the DL-44 is a monster. But, in my personal opinion, just because of the play style that I like to play, I'm probably going to go with the SE-14C. But that is only purely because it has the faster firing rate and the and the quicker cooldown. You know, I mean, the DL44 hits like a champ. It's going to take down a lot of stuff. But for me, I just like to be a little bit more aggressive, not so much kind of more steady aimed. You know, again, you're going to be wanting to hip fire that DL44, whereas this one you can do better with beneficial as hip firing and aiming down sights. It's it's more versatile, I feel, rather than the DL44. But that's me and that's my playstyle. You guys might have a different opinion on that. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoy the rest of the match. Let me know if you tried this weapon out, if you like it, if you use the explosive shot with it, or let me know if you think the DL44 is actually better than this weapon, because, you know, my opinion, like I said, I think this SE-14C is definitely better than the DL44, but that's, again, with my play style. But overall, again, when it comes to weapons, EE3 has got it solid on point. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoy the rest of the match. Like I said, hope you enjoy the rest of the video. And if you do, please feel free to go ahead and slap that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to join the Charminati today. And you guys are more than welcome to go ahead and comment below and follow me on my Twitter to stay up to date with all my YouTube videos. I'm Charmin X off, and as always, thanks for watching, and y'all come back now, you hear? The rebel scum have returned their cargo.
Cargo is in our hands. Defend it! the cargo. Deliver it to our base. Rebel scum have returned their cargo box. <laughs> 